city of Madhuri, the city of festivals, the city of historic glory. The occasion, King Tirumalai's ceremonial entry into his newly built palace, an edifice of beauty. Oh. Oh. Was their passionate love for the sculptors and the skill of the artisans. His consorts, Devi Udra and Devi Thori, were with him. trumpet again, this time in tumultuous agitation. Once again the hen cackles kindle to even greater fright. The clash of these reverberating echoes fills the whole mount with a resonance of awesome intensity. The poet then goes on to compare the humming of the bees on the mount to the enchanting music of the flute. Mere words. The poor 
that has created a wondrous spectacle of sound and sight. There is nothing to wonder at. That gave us Tirupur, a classic that adorns Tamil literature like a jeweled crown. Amongst the many festivals in King Tirumalai's palace, Navaratri celebrations were the most colorful, the most grandiose, the most exciting. It was on that day that prizes were awarded and honors conferred on those who deserved them. Your Majesty, the renowned singers from Andhra, whose music has enthralled you on so many occasions, have come once more. <laughs> Also known as Sedinar, is a land of warriors. As one who celebrated the Dapatir Vira with pomp and pageantry and the famed Singhol Vira, on which day he gets his scepter blessed by the goddess Meenakshi, brings it in procession and ascends the throne, thus giving <laughs> Thank you.